children are always the worst sufferers of any war, insurgency, catastrophe, pandemic, or any other violence. We know that presently many children have lost their one parent or both parents. Many children are starving inside the homes because their parents are either hospitalized or confined in isolation in their own homes. Seeing this situation, my organization Bachpan Bachao Andolan has launched a helpline number and within two weeks we have received more than 400 desperate calls and one third of them are forced to live without parents, one or two parents. But more importantly, when we have given the call to help such orphan children or the children whose parents cannot help them now, even they cannot feed them and the, we have seen the overwhelming response from the community, from the society. Right from the ordinary people to the central government, state governments and many institutions came forward to help and support such children. Union government has uh, sent a letter to all the chief secretaries of the states to take care of such children. We have also seen that many organizations, including the government agencies, came forward to take responsibility of care and protection, stipend, education, health care of such children. And that is great. Dear friends, if we fail our children, we fail the future. We will fail ourselves. If one single child is not safe, then we cannot claim that we are civilized, we are human, we are cultured, we are the largest democracy of the world. And that is possible through the combination of collective efforts and individual efforts. Compassion is the key. We have seen the ignition of compassion, the spread of compassion during these days for children. We have also seen a sense of responsibility among the governmental and non-governmental institutions and individuals. This way, we can save our children. But that is not only now. The third wave, as they say, is going to be much more dangerous, much more devastating, particularly for children. And therefore, we have to prepare ourselves to help children as well as to raise the voice on behalf of them, to inform agencies, call NGOs and other governmental institutions which are responsible for the protection of children. I will mention a few calls. Two young children holding the dead body of their father were crying for help and no neighbor, no relative turned up. The mother was also lying almost half conscious. Somehow somebody called up. We were able to send some help immediately. And not only us, there were other groups came and started helping. The local administration has helped in the cremation of this man, as well as supporting the family. These are not just singular incidents. This is happening with many, many children or may happen in the future with many more children. And therefore, 
we have to prepare ourselves as nation, as true Indian, as true human being, as true Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikh, Jains, or whatever. We have to save every single child because they are all of our children. This is the truest worship to the God if we believe in God. But that would also be the truest service to the nation as a responsible citizen. I call upon you to help those children, inform the local authorities and make sure that every single child is protected. Thank you.